to be here with you both. Max, we love it every time that, that you come by the show. We, we really, really do. Octavia, we, we talked earlier, this is your first public appearance. Mm -hmm. Since, how are you feeling? I... Since COVID, what's the vibe? You OK? You, I, you're you all right? Know, I have a little anxiety. How bad does it get for you? How, like, <laughs> through the COVID, through everything? I was really good. And then, you know, my worst nightmare came true with, with COVID. So, uh, but, you know, there was a time my friends played a really bad joke on me. You can't give me any sort of suggestion of what your symptoms are because then this my mind... This is just mind, any illness. Any, well, uh, my friend had had cupping done and I'd never seen it. And he, you know, he started faking a cough and saying, you know, oh my God, I, I, I'm not feeling well. And he took his shirt off and he had all these giant bruises. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God. I just started panicking and I looked in the mirror and of course I saw them coming on my face, the cut, you know, I'm like, they're there. And I calmed myself down, but I ran upstairs and called my doctor. And they were like, you called your I doctor. I did. I'm like, my roommate's breaking out with these crazy lesions. They're like <laughs> giant. <laughs> and I'm seeing them on my face. So um, I, I just, I, you know, I was so proud of myself that I had gotten out of that. And then now, you know, we have, you know, sore throats or, you know, runny eyes or itchy eyes. And it's like, what is it? And you start looking it up in the COVID dictionary, right? Are you With someone, do you Google symptoms? I was at the beginning. I don't do it anymore <laughs> because I realize I'm never going to be able to integrate back into society if I check every single, you know, symptom. Yeah. But you, you've been out a lot. You've been out, like, I mean, mainly, so. mainly in West Hollywood. <laughs> Because are you aware oh. of these posters that were put up all over oh. West Hollywood where they've used <laughs> Max Greenfield? Did you? Max. How, um, how was your bangs giving? Well, apparently I, apparently I hosted a party um, on Thanksgiving. Not just any party, a, a big, big gay, gay party. party. <laughs> apparently I... Thanksgiving. Yes. And I was not aware of this. Uh, and it was concerning, uh, mainly because if I'm gonna host a party, I, I want it to be good. And yeah, I want yeah, people yeah. to show up. Yeah. And here I am, I don't know. The other part of it was I showed it to my wife and look, let me first say, was I flattered? <laughs> this is as high a praise as a Kennedy Center honor. I agree. I am. I actually think I, I absolutely agree with that. I, I mean, to be. They could have chosen anyone. I, le yes, my wife Tess didn't like the picture they had chosen. <laughs> Why? Well, she didn't think it was very flattering, and so. Dude, that's crazy. Well, so, well, so, I. I think, you look, I think you look absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. Well, uh, it's funny. I texted a friend of ours. Yes. I texted Zeb. Ah, um, perfect and person I don't know text. if Zeb's here, but I texted Zeb, and I was like, you'll enjoy this. Look what happened. I hosted a party over Thanksgiving. And he said, and he said oh, this is wonderful. You should be very proud. And then uh, and I said, well, Tess didn't like the picture. And he goes, no, 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 your body is very in right now. And I go, <laughs> I said, you're just saying that. And he goes, no, it's not insane, it's attainable, and also, like, down for a pizza party. <laughs> there, Zeb is here. This is Zeb who wrote this very, wrote this very text. Is that true, Zeb? I stand by my comment. I stand yeah. <laughs> and my only response was, you know when someone just, it just nailed it. Yeah. And it honestly was exactly what I'm going for. And I, and, I now feel so validated yeah. and confident. Yeah. And this was a really this was a real win for me, you guys. Yeah. Oh. I do think it's a real win. I mean I think so too. Octavia, you've you've had your, your face in some unexpected places. Ah! Are you aware of all this stuff? When you did the movie Ma, where people would just put your face <laughs> Jumanji. What do you think of this when you see stuff like this? say it might be the funniest thing. <laughs> Me as The Rock. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's intense. I gotta tell you, I would watch this film. I 100% would. <laughs> I really, oh, I didn't really know would. it was a film. I thought it was a party in West Hollywood. <laughs> Now, Xavier, let's, let's talk about your new film, Congratulations, Thank Encounter. You. I think it's going to be absolutely <laughs> massive. You, Riz Ahmed, who I love for anyone who 
us know, uh, tell us what it's about and who you play. Well, um, I play uh, Hattie, um, Riz's character. Riz is brilliant. Mm. Um, uh, kidnaps his boys uh, because he wants to save them from uh, what he fears is uh, um, an alien invasion. And uh, we get to, as the audience, we basically experience things through his eyes. Um, so we see the aliens and we see everything that, that he sees. Now, you shot the film right in the middle of the pandemic. How did you, with, with your COVID fears, <laughs> which were very, you know, real, that we all had a, a very real moments during the past 18 months, how did you manage the shoot? Well, it was, it was, <laughs> it was interesting. And they were, I, but it was a wonderful production. Like, they had great protocols and, um, and, you know, my whole entire team, we were all, like, all four of us in my tiny little trailer. I'm like, wipe everything down! You know, we, yeah. were, we were doing that. Yeah, just fully in a bubble, didn't, and then you would just come out, do the scene, and go back and in go the back into the And go back into the bubble, which I never spend time in my trailer in, you know, pre-pandemic. I like being on the set. Yeah. I like being out here with you guys yeah. and, like, yeah. where the action is. Yeah. You know? And then I, just, I like the idea of just one person on that crew who doesn't know that you're worried about COVID <laughs> being like, I never knew she was such a diva. <laughs> She's like, six feet, back off. <laughs> the... I'm going in my trailer. It kind of was. It kind of well, was. It's totally worth it.